Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about the two compartment model. We have a data here for a plasma concentration time and we have an experimental dug for 362. We have to find out the loading dose if the concentration at steady state is 20 microgram per ml uh, for a different patient. And uh, we have to find out the T half of the beta phase and the T half of the alpha phase and also the AUC. Let's take a look at this problem step by step. Okay, the very first step in this problem is to determine the slope of the beta phase. So determine slope of beta phase. Okay. So how do you do that? We have a plasma concentration time points as you can see here. So you know the formula that slope beta is equal to for any slope for that matter. Okay. And for any slope, you know the equation um, difference in y divided by difference in x, right? If it is a natural log, because the concentration here we're taking is in the natural log. So the slope, which I, I'm going to rewrite this, has beta, because this is a beta phase. Okay? So the difference of the y-axis, that is concentration ln of C2 minus ln of C1 divided by T2 minus T1. This gives the value of the beta uh, phase uh, slope. Okay, so this is beta. And the next thing is we have to find the intercept of the beta phase. So this is the intercept of the beta phase. So we're going to find the intercept now. So hey, I hope you remember this formula for one compartment model. Cp is equal to C0 into e to the power of minus kt. If you didn't remember, take a look at the video which I posted earlier for a one compartment model. Okay, so plasma concentration. We can use this formula for any linear, uh, you know, log linear plasma concentration time profile. If you take a look at this, you know, uh, line here, this is a log, uh, log linear concentration time profile, right? So this we have no idea what is that so that can we can call this as a c naught right and the elimination rate constant here because it's a beta phase we are going to write it a beta so i'm going to rewrite this now so c naught which we call let's call this as a b okay so cp we can take any of the concentration time over here uh, plasma concentration so CP, that is a plasma concentration, and C0 is B times e to the power of minus beta T. So time is this time over here, okay? This is the time point for this particular plasma concentration time. This is CP, and this is the T, and this is B, which we are going to find out, which we have no idea what it is, and we know the value of beta from the earlier equation here and we know the time so based on this you're going to find out b so once you know the b now the next thing is we have to extrapolate this line okay so we have to extrapolate this beta phase now so this is a beta phase we had extrapolated so we have to f let's find out two time points that are corresponding to the the actual plasma concentration time points all right so this is the time points for the actual plasma concentration. Let's say this is T1 and T2, and this is CP1 extrapolated, and this is CP2 extrapolated. Let's call that okay. So now what we have to do is the next step is to find the extrapolated lines and points, time uh, con plasma concentrations for the beta phase okay so it's the same thing we know the information of b right okay from this equation we know and we know e to the power of minus beta and beta is nothing but the slope of this beta phase and the time is now going to be you know either t1 or t2 whatever it is let's let's put a t1 time okay and now you can get the plasma concentration for the corresponding um you know plasma concentration extrapolated for the corresponding plasma concentration here okay so this blue is a cp extrapolated cp extrapolated so now 
same thing we write one more equation cp extrapolated we don't know that's what we're going to find out for the plasma concentration cp2 let's say this is cp1 and this is cp2 extrapolated right so b we have we know that from earlier equations and e to the power of minus beta t2 okay all right now that we know now that we know the uh, you know extrapolated curve now the next thing is to find out the difference between the actual there is a green line green dots here and the extrapolated okay with this you're going to plot a residual okay i'm going to change the color so the difference between this actual plasma concentration and this extrapolated plasma concentration will be somewhere around like this okay and the same thing here so we're going to find out the difference between and we are going to plot a line so this is the extrapolate cp residual line now okay so cp residual now can we find out the slope for the cp residual yes we can find out the slope for the cp residual line so how do you do that it's the same thing so we have the equation for any slope equation difference of y or difference of x right so here slope is a cp residual we will call this as alpha slope okay and delta y is what the plasma concentrations of residual this is one and this is two so it's cp residual two minus cp residual one divided by since this is a natural log so we're going to apply natural log okay divided by time points that is t2 minus t1 okay here are the time points okay t2 and t1 so now that we know the alpha slope now we can find out the intercept of the alpha slope let's take a look at that what is the interface okay i'm going to use a different ink here is the intercept okay for this for this alpha slope i'm going to use different color this is the residual line and we have we have the alpha slope and this is the intercept for the alpha slope we'll call it as a all right so now that we know the alpha slope it's pretty easy we are going to use the same equation as we used for one compartment model this cp is equal to cp naught into e to the power of minus kt but here the slope we're calling it as alpha right so we are going to and um cp naught we are calling it as a because it's an alpha slope the intercept is a here okay so cp residual is equal to a times e to the power of minus alpha t so by plugging in this equation we know the value of cp residual because we subtracted between the actual and the extrapolated we got the residual right this is cp residual and we know the corresponding time that's t1 okay so cp residual we have the value and the corresponding time we have t1 and we know the alpha slope value from this above equation we're going to plug in here so can we calculate a yes we can calculate the a intercept so this is nothing but a is equal to cp residual divided by e to the power of minus alpha t1 which is the corresponding time point okay i'm going to stop this here and we're going to discuss in the next uh, video about how to calculate the vdss